फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल थ्री फेज डिजिटल मल्टी फंक्शन मीटर इन विच वी लर्न हाउ टू डू सी टी कनेक्शन इन दिस मीटर एंड आल्सो लर्न हाउ टू सेट सी टी रेशियो एंड अदर पैरामीटर इन दिस मीटर सो लेट स्टार्ट वीडियो यू कैन सी वी हैव स्नाइडर कंपनी कंजर्व मॉडल ई एम सिक्स डबल जीरो मॉडल डिजिटल मल्टी फंक्शन मीटर इन दिस मीटर वी हैव टोटल थ्री स्क्रीन एल वन L2 and L3. That means we can watch three different parameter in this screen. And for connection, we connect with three current transformer for three phase. First, learn a basic concept of current transformer RCT. You can see in this current transformer we have P1 side which is primary side, P2 side which is secondary side. Okay. And terminal wire for this current transformer S1 and S2. Red wire is known as S1 terminal. You can see. red wire is s1 and black wire is s2 wire okay we will learn how to do proper connection first see connection of this digital multi function meter so we need to connect v1 v2 and v3 and also vn this multi function meter is three phase four wire meter okay so need to connect to three phase and neutral and also auxiliary power supply which is 220 volt line in neutral for display of the meter okay now learn a connection practically first phase ct so r phase enter in this ct okay and phase should enter from primary side okay so mcb connector is here so mcb output first connect in ct primary side okay so we connect one more connector for multi function meter so r phase connect in first terminal and this phase is connect in v1 terminal okay phase sequence should same in current transformer connection so first phase ct s1 wire connect in s1 terminal okay and first phase s2 terminal wire connect in meter s2 okay so first phase ct connection also done and phase connection is done okay s1 and s2 connection is done now for second phase ct which is y phase the phase should enter from primary side of ct we connect one more connector this connector is for multi function meter auxiliary power supply okay and phase sequence should not change in meter okay so y phase connect in this mcb and one connector connect in meter v2 terminal okay phase sequence should be same okay v2 connect here now second phase ct ct s1 terminal connect in s1 terminal now this s1 connect in meter s1 terminal of second phase and all connection should be fully tight okay now secondary secondary which is s2 terminal s2 connector connect here now second phase connection is now done now we connect a third phase which is b phase ct so for b phase ct we enter b phase from primary side of the current transformer okay b phase enter in this third ct we connect one more connector okay now b phase connection is done in b phase okay mcb third terminal and we connect one more connector for meter auxiliary power supply okay and phase sequence should not change now v3 terminal we connect b phase wire okay ryb as it is connect now our three phase connection is done now connect third phase ct wire in this meter so we connect s1 wire in s1 terminal of third phase ct and s2 wire connect in secondary of the terminal okay so our ct connection is done for third phase and auxiliary power supply we need to connect okay so just for auxiliary power supply we need to connect line and neutral so we connect neutral wire from mcb okay neutral wire connect here also we connect neutral in v n terminal also auxiliary power supply so we connect to one connector and this connect connect here so when we connect to neutral so auxiliary power supply neutral also connect and v n neutral wire also connect so we connect here so neutral connect in both terminal auxiliary power supply also v n terminal now we need to connect a line wire for auxiliary power supply so line wire you can connect also from v1 v2 or v3 any of the terminal and also you can if you want to connect from mcb so you can connect 
and also you can connect any of the phase r phase y phase or b phase in this meter so we connect r phase for auxiliary power supply okay our meter connection is now done all connection should be fully tight please check again okay our connection is now done you can see now v1 v2 v3 vn auxiliary power supply and also ct connection okay now let's see power on okay power on you can see line to line voltage in first screen you can see 415 line to line voltage in second screen you can see second display ampere we connected 10 hp motor so ampere you can see here also we can see power factor in third display okay we will learn practically how to set complete parameter in this meter how to set ct ratio practically okay so first we connect this meter in distribution panel you can see we connect distribution panel we have total 5 key okay you can see voltage ampere and power factor and in another side you can see how much load connected in percentage in this meter now 30 percent load connect is 30 led is blinking okay in this display you can see line to line voltage also ampere which is running with this meter and also you can see power factor okay for changing screen need to press turbo button or enter key when you press turbo key you can see va watt and power factor okay all reading you can see is showing in kilowatt okay in kilo okay now when you press again time turbo key so you can see va watt and var value all values is showing is in kilowatt okay are in kilo va watt and var again press turbo key so you can see all value showing is watt var and power factor again press turbo key are okay key power factor which is one two and three phase all three phase power factor is showing here okay again press turbo key vah value which is showing in kilo okay vah value can see in this meter also if you want to see this reading in watt hour okay so again press turbo key or enter key now value showing in watt hour okay this reading is showing in kilo that means kwh okay kilowatt reading you can see here this is known as unit of the meter okay now again press turbo key so rms value after rms press up key clear again press up key set okay for changing parameter press right key for weaving and if you want to change parameter okay so press again up key add it now press right key okay you can see showing code code of the meter is 1000 okay for up and down key set to 1 again press right key 0 again press right key 0 0 pass that means now you can change parameter first you can see primary ct ratio which is 400 okay if you want to change place right key and by up and down key you can change for now our ct connected is 400 so we will not change again press down key secondary of the ct is 5 so which is okay again press down key so potential transformer ratio if you want to set potential transformer or pt so you can set potential transformer primary and secondary here again press down key system connection our system connected in delta so we set in delta if you want to change star single phase or double phase so you can change for now our system connected in delta so we set in delta okay if you want to change so you can change now first we set in delta okay delta is set now again press down key label or label phase sequence which is we should be ryb you said said ryb label phase sequence again press down key vafn by default set 3d okay now next parameter is baud rate baud rate is need to connect for rs45 communication if you do rs4045 connection so set baud rate again press down key so parity parameter if you want to connect rs485 communication so set parity parameter in this parameter by default we set ev and 1 okay because we are not doing any rs485 communication now again press down key id by default id set on 1 
so just set one because we are not doing any communication next parameter full scale okay because we want to use meter as 100 percent so set on 100 okay again press down key phase sequence which phase sequence you require just set here okay now for saving parameter press left key okay why if you want to save it so just press turbo key or ok key because we don't want to save parameter so again press down key say no okay if you want to save so set on y if you want don't want to save save n okay because our parameter is not set so fail is he is showing here okay if you save parameter it will show pass okay now again press left key v again press left key set again press down key clear down key rms now again press turbo key or ok key you can see by default our screen line to line voltage ampere and power factor because in this meter we want to see kwh okay so save as a wh okay you can see here which screen you want to see set by default now in this meter we can see kwh rating continuously okay so I hope your concept is clear how to install proper Snyder Conserver EM6000.